What's up managers? How are we doing? It's Vigo FM. Chelsea, let's play season 1, episode 9, January transfer window special. All right guys, so it's a January transfer window special. And you know what? For the Chelsea it was not so special at all. Uh, we've got Ross Barkley, as I said before, and basically nothing happened. One very weird, strange transfer. So let's jump to it, first things first. Well, as you see, uh, I've made uh, Ross Barkley, yeah, as I said before, and uh, one transfer, Alex Smithies uh, from Queen's Park Rangers, 27-year-old goalkeeper, 12 million euros why you ask me why yeah because i realized that uh, chelsea have a quite big problem at least for this season with the uh, homegrown players and uh i yeah i found out that um i really need them so i bought this guy he's english man um count as a homegrown a uh, quite good one as a backup goalkeeper actually so um Two transfers, Ross Barkley as well. Uh, probably that's the reason why they bought them in the real life, because uh, he's a homegrown player as well. So two more Englishmen in the Chelsea um, team, and that's it. Uh, yeah. So uh, and out, nothing major as well. Lots of loans. Uh, the main one was uh, yeah, Billy Caballero. Um, I've just sent him out for free, zero. Yeah, but uh, 36 Argentinian, so uh, Alex Smith instead of Willy Caballero. And that's it, yeah. Uh, nothing major, yeah. Mate Delic, another another goalkeeper, Croatian. Uh, poor one. Yeah, it's gonna be in the Cardiff. So now uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how the whole January gone, because I played basically six weeks of the camera. And then we uh, we will see what's happened in the major leagues like Spain, Italy, uh, Germany, and France in the transfer window. Well, so green is the color, except the stole game. Uh, it was fantastic six weeks uh, from the last yeah, game with the uh, Liverpool and Crystal Palace. We played Cardiff in the FA Cup third round, easy victory. Um, uh, William and Kennedy on, uh, on the sheet. Now uh, two legs with the Burnley in the Carabao Cup semi-final. I won them both quite easily. Then we beat uh, Watford at home, Southampton at home. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, then we got the FA Cup fourth round Tottenham and been away. Uh, it's been very difficult game uh, in the first half, but then we beat them. Uh, so four one. Uh, beat Bournemouth away 3-1, uh, Huddersfield at home 4-0, uh, Burnley again, uh, quite tough game, I've been playing with uh, my, uh, oh actually I've played with the first 11, yeah so tough game, and uh, after very long time, you see how many games I've won, very long time we lost to Stoke 2-1, uh, Victor Moses being sent off in the 50 minute, so uh, yeah, first defeat in a very long time and just after that uh, we beat uh, Newcastle again away uh, to one in FA Cup fifth round. So I've, it's been quite e easy um, month and uh, more than month because we're now basically 17, uh, 17 days in another one. So but yeah, um, quite easy games. But now guys, look at the schedule. The rest of the season is going to be one hell of the run. Uh, in the next episode, uh, today we're not gonna play any games, um, I'm just gonna blah 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 blah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, next one is gonna be really uh, tough again. Juventus first uh, knockout round and Arsenal in the Carabao Cup final, so maybe first uh, trophy. And then you, you see that all the basically are, uh, yeah, strong teams. In the end of the uh, season, yeah, going to be Arsenal, Man City, Newcastle. So, very tough uh, second half of the season. 
but uh, as you see in the standings we have a 13 points advantage which i'm really happy about because um, now i can concentrate more into the champions league i really want to win um, uh, Premier League this season and to go at least in the semi-finals in the Champions League but we will see and my main um, aim for, for for the save is probably uh, yeah of course uh, to win Champions League and if we're gonna win uh, to be honest I've never won uh, in my personal saves I uh, never won Champions League two years in a row so maybe we will try to do that if everything will be alright if we will be lucky of course uh, so we will see so that's the main aim and as you see at the standings uh, pretty strange Everton is struggling a lot they have just the four uh, four wins so if they will be relegated basically just the eight uh, games left uh, or ten games left sorry games left uh, so maybe we will buy something from Everton because they have really good players but they are struggling massively and yeah top four uh, all the major teams just the Liverpool is in the seventh place and uh, West Ham is overachieving a lot so yeah but I'm happy with the 13 points uh, gap that I have between the Tottenham okay guys so now uh, I've shown everything. Uh, my squad is basically no injured. Oh, David Zapacosta. Yeah, it's for the two weeks. And yeah, uh, yeah, no, no, nothing happened in the January because uh, I didn't tell you. As you see, uh, I thought that William is basically uh, one foot is in the Real Madrid because I told him that I'm gonna accept the uh, 80 million uh, transfer if it's come up, but nothing come up. So William is staying, even he's in the poor uh, mentality, he wants to leave. And Golo Kanti thought there's gonna be another one, but uh, Paris Saint-Germain again, they are interested, but didn't make any offer. Uh, Danny Drinkwater, I think, was moaning as well for the minutes and wants to leave, but then I've, I've rotated a lot, so he's happy now. And uh, oh yeah, I thought I've got a couple of uh, offers for uh, Cesar Spicoletto, but that's the crappy one, so I've just rejected. And yeah, so nothing changed in the in the in the in the team. Okay, so let's see what's happened in the major transfer windows. Okay, guys, uh, so let's check the English Premier League. Uh, the biggest deals what's happened has been 59 in total, and the biggest signing is Virgil Van Dijk. Uh, to the Liverpool uh, this one I've done uh, this is the same as the reality I've done this with the editor uh, so we can expect that and yeah uh, the biggest one and the biggest sale is 120 million it's to Barcelona you know what guys uh, this one is not being done by me so basically the real transfer happens uh, as in real life this happens in the FM manager, yeah, so this all done. Philip Coutinho, 120 million. Um, and the rest of them are, is much lower. Ariel Romeo is going to the Tottenham, 33 million. Uh, biggest sell, Victor Vanyama. Again, Barcelona, 44 million. Big spenders. Um, Arsenal, Bri uh, sign Robin Semedo from the Villarreal. Uh, sold Alexis Sanchez. So Alexis Sanchez is in Liverpool. Liverpool bought Alexis Sanchez for 30 million euros. Uh, Everton by Cheng Tosun, another real life, uh, I've done that on the editor. Yeah, so um, uh, the, the, the Turkish uh, striker came to Liverpool. Actually, he's quite a good one, just the decisions is pretty low, but uh, yeah, he can uh, score two goals already. And uh, Ross Barkley to the Chelsea. Okay, Manchester City bought Nicolas Samson from the Villarreal again and they sold Claudio Bravo to Fiorentina uh, what else um, it's, the rest of them is not so major not so not so not so interesting so let's jump to the Spain well Spain um, as we saw before, Philip Coutinho to Barcelona and they sold Gerard de la Feu, uh, to Atletico Madrid for the rivals. Uh, Real Madrid bought Kevin Strutman uh, from Roma, didn't sell anyone. 
Atletico Madrid, Diego Llorente. Yeah, from Real Sociedad. Um, and yeah, the uh, Salt Sime Vershalko, the defender to the Arsenal. Alright. And the rest of the transfers is not so major. Uh, the Sol Gerard Moreno for 24 million to the Bayern. Okay. Okay, guys, so let's jump to Italy. Well, Italy, Serie A. Wow. Um, not so much to sign. Basically, no major signings, but there are a couple, couple uh, big uh, sales. So, Roma. Um, but Borja Valero, 33 years old. Wow, what a strange signing. Actually, uh, this saw yeah, Kevin Strutman, as I told you before, to Real Madrid. Uh, Napoli bought Mattia Perrin from Genoa. And they sold Dries Mertens to Tottenham. 30 million. Yeah, Inter uh, bought Marios from Shakhtar. Uh, yeah, so bought Yavolero. Oh, actually, another big sell is Lazio. Sold Stefan De Vries to Barcelona again. Wow, Barcelona. They spent almost 200 million on the players this transfer window. Whoa, but they are, yeah, tough team gonna be. Uh, so and this okay Sandoria sold Lucas Torreira for 42 million to Real Madrid defensive midfielder 22 years old Uruguayan really good player amazing central midfielder and yeah the major transfers in there so let's jump into the Germany okay so uh, Germany as well uh, not so many major signings couple of them uh, Bayern bought John Michael Seri from Nice 25 millions and Dortmund bought Luciano Vieto from uh, Atletico Madrid 20 millions and the rest of it is not so uh, yeah not so big ones and we see the biggest sales yeah, Borussia Mönchengladbach sold Yannick Westergaard to Southampton. Uh, Hoffenheim sold Oliver Baumann. It's to the Manchester City. Oh, okay, the goalkeeper, 27 years old. Interesting one. Uh, Hertha Berlin sold Vladimir Darida to, oh, it's into the China. Hakshia Chingfu. Okay. Uh, da -dum -da -dum. What we else got? Yeah, and the rest of them is just a few million, so nothing major. Let's jump into the France. Okay, guys, so France, and you know what? Uh, it's some kind of bug or something, probably. Because this has been 27 deals done, 77 million spend, but they don't show anything. Oh, so what? Why is that? Very strange. Okay, so at least let's check a few major um, teams. <coughs> Did they buy something? Uh, transfer history. Yeah, Monaco bought uh, Timothy Koloche Jack. Um, from Tig uh, from Tigres, nice French player, been in Tigres. Okay, uh, no major uh, sales. Let's check Paris Saint Germain in the transfer. Oh, okay, it's been much more interesting now. They uh, they uh, they bought the Magoy Vida for free. 28 uh, years old Croatian for free. Wow, from Dynamo Kiev. Andre Hansen from Rosenberg, 28 years old goalkeeper. Uh, William Carvalho from Sporting for 30 million euros. Very good signing. Uh, Pione Sisto from Vigo, another 20 million. Very promising Danish player. 
and Eric from Braga 20 years old Brazilian winger as well probably very promising guy uh, they sold I just yeah they sold Kevin Trapp to uh, Marcel okay Olympic Leones any major stuff uh, just the one Jeremy Matteo from the Sporting 34 years old former Barcelona player okay nothing major and nothing major on the sale ones and Olympic Marcel uh, transfer history oh it's just a, yeah it's just the one Pablo from Bordeaux 26 years old Brazilian and uh, they sold Maxime Lopez to Southampton for 9 million all right yeah so guys basically I think that's it uh, we saw the whole major leagues uh, what does everybody bought um, yeah I, th I think yeah I think that's it so so that's the January transfer window special and please 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 guys next week on the next episode whatever time you're watching two major games Juventus away in the Champions League and Arsenal final in the Carabao Cup so please 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 subscribe if you like what you saw let me grow up let this channel be big I'm putting videos five times a week daily as much as I can if you're gonna like it and um, it's gonna be more subscribers I'm gonna put more I can uh, record videos on the weekends it doesn't matter I'm really doing this with the passion so yeah just come on guys let me grow up and much more interesting stuff will gonna come out thanks for watching have a good day bye